How do you create your own custom sort order in Power BI? In this video, I will walk through two examples. I'll create a new conditional column to take the sort column, which may be helpful if you only have a few categories. Then I'll demonstrate how a list may be helpful, especially if your list of items is likely to grow or change order over time. Hi, I'm Pauline and I provide practical data skills for real-world analysis. Sometimes in reports you are looking to put categories in a specified order, either because it's a logical order or because it's a preference of the end user. For this first example, I have some survey data. And rather than alphabetical order, I would like all the diagrams which use these satisfaction levels to show in the order strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, and then strongly disagree. To do this, I click on transform data, transform data, making sure my survey query is selected. I go to the top to add column, add conditional column, I will call the column sort levels just as a reminder that it is being used to sort the satisfaction levels. Then I can stipulate the order by saying if satisfaction levels equals strongly agree, then I would like this item to be shown first, so I put the number one in the output box, add a clause and say else if the satisfaction levels equals agree, then I would like that to be shown second, so I just put in the number two and so on. I keep going through my satisfaction levels such that neutral is three, disagree is four, disagree strongly becomes number five. Then I click OK. I will change the type for the new column to be a whole number. Then back in the Home tab, I can close and apply. I am not yet finished. I still have to go across to my survey table and select the Satisfaction Levels column. Then in column tools, under sort by column, I click the drop down list and I would like to sort the satisfaction levels by sort levels. So that is the selection I make. As you can see, the order of the categories has changed in the chart, with the categories now in the expected order. In this example, the categories and the order are unlikely to change. However, you may be in the situation whereby the number of categories or the order of categories is at risk of change in the future. Therefore, example two may provide a more preferred route. Here I have a list of vehicles. Currently, the list of vehicles is shown in reverse alphabetical order. However, the end user of the report would like them to show in the following order across all diagrams being trucks, vans, trailers, then SUVs. To do this, I will use a custom sort column by going to transform data, transform data. I have a query called vehicles, which contains a list of vehicles. And for this example, my first step is actually to create a list of these vehicles. So to do that, I am going to go to new source, and select blank query. And as I'm creating a list, all I need to do is do equals, then select the curly brackets. And inside the curly brackets, I will list the vehicles in the order which I would like them to sort, which is trucks, comma, vans, comma, trailers, 
comma, SUVs, select the tick mark to submit it. Then I will call my query something a bit more helpful. In this case, I will call it sort order vehicles. A point to note here that is because it's a list, trucks is in position zero, vans is in position one, trailers are in position two and SUVs are in position three. And I'll explain in a moment why this is relevant. So if I now go back to my vehicles query and select add column, and this time I would like a custom column, I'll call my new column, sort vehicles and say it equals, and I will use the list that I've created. So I say my list dot, and I'm going to use the position of each of the vehicles in that list. So I say position of, then open brackets, and inside I would like to use the sort order vehicles list to determine the position of the items in the vehicles column. So I click to insert the vehicles column, close my brackets, click OK. Remember, our list started at position zero and went up to position three. That's why trucks is shown zero, as it was in position zero, vans was in position one, which is why it's shown one, and so on. If you find it easier, what you can do is into your custom column, just add plus one onto the end and click OK. And this increases the order position of each item by one. Then as before, I will change the type to whole number, select close and apply. And in my vehicles table, I select vehicles, then sort by column, sort vehicles, and my diagram updates. Now let me show the benefit of this route. If I go back into transform data, in my vehicles query, I have a new item added called camper van. And I would like the camper van to be showing as the fourth item in any diagram, such that it would sit above the SUVs. And to do that, all I simply have to do is go into my sort order vehicles list. After trailers, I insert my camper van, comma. So it's now sitting before the SUV. And if I go back to my vehicles table, camper van is showing as being number four with SUVs showing as number five. So if I close and apply, the camper van appears in the diagrams in the correct order. So these are just a few ideas of how to add a custom sort column in Power BI. Remember, you should always check the order that your categories are appearing in diagrams to help the user easily view and understand the diagrams. And I will provide a link in this video's description to a video where I discuss the potential implications of not considering the sort order. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Check out my other resources in the description below and subscribe to this channel for more data hints and tips. Thanks for watching.